So I'm doing a type of sewing that I think is pretty like funky and cool and interesting. So I thought I'd share. You sew onto papers. Um, and the reason you do this is so that you can get like intricate things without requiring too much precision of sewing uh, and cutting. So, um, this is the paper I'm sewing onto and for part of this I have to like fold the lines and so I'm, or fold on the lines I should say, so I fold ahead of time. So here's what the piece looks like. And it's got numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and I sew in order and I also have a cheat sheet over here in case I don't know, but, um, so, kind of is going to go like this. So this is going to go here and I have this, uh, glue, it's washable fabric glue. So sometimes I use that on the first piece and, um, to stick it down to the paper. So that's piece one in place there. Now I need piece two. Bam. Is this really piece two? It's so big. Feels like it should go a different way. Does E2. Oh, it planned on going this way. Mm, I probably cut it out wrong. Is that true? No. No, I'm just looking at it backwards. Yay! <laughs> so, a line. This piece up. And then I sew along this line between them. Then I can roll the seam flat. Then I get this little ruler and trim this to a quarter of an inch. This has a little groove and this bit here is a quarter of an inch. You just like, meh. anyway, magical. Now I put piece three on. So I'm gonna fold back piece three. Nope, almost forgot a step. That would have been bad. Then I push this open. Now, proper, proper sewing, I would press this like with heat and an iron, but we don't have time for that. This moves too quickly. So I use this little rolly thing that was designed for the purpose. But before I got that, I just was like with my finger. Okay, and then I want to make sure that this piece completely covers. So here's the two, and can we see through it? Well, you can't, but I can, that it covers where the two is supposed to cover here. So then I put piece three on the line that says three, and I think that's this piece. And the part that gets so confusing is making sure that you're sewing them the right way around. So I have to sew right sides together. So I'm gonna flip it like that. And I'm lining up through the paper, essentially. Come on, little scooched over. And then I fold the paper back, take it over here. Some people trim first and I don't. That's fine. Obviously you can do what you want. Now pull this paper, trim it. We've been watching my friend, I'm probably making a lot of noise, but it goes. Watching my friend stream tonight and it's been an up and down night for them, I'll tell you what. Playing really good and not playing really good. 
being teamed up with some people who are apparently not very uh, against some people that aren't very nice. Um, I'm just going to trim that up. Great. So that's one, two, and three. And then, so here's the back, and you can see maybe my little lines of stitching. And then I have to attach four. Oh, there you can see the piece through. Um, and then there's that side, but we'll look at that at the end. And then we're going to fold on this line. attach um, piece four. Four is this weird shaped one. So I'm going to trim first on here. It'll just make it a little easier, I think. So I sometimes will be like, how does this go? Oh, it goes this way. And we go right sides together like this. Ultimately, did I do this wrong? Yeah, I was trying to match up the wrong side. So, matching up the right part. And then you fold the paper back. noise is my my machine cutting the um, thread for me in case you're wondering I always roll it flat and then roll it open because that's how I would press it if it were a seam so I don't know if it matters but okay back Pull this back now this piece is big let's this extends in a way that is gonna kind of be bothersome I'm cut that off and then we have one more piece to sew. And then it's going to go this, this way. So it's this side here that's going to match up. With this side here. I think we're going to go down like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks about right doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using a very short stitch length. Normal sewing, I will put at 2.5. Quilting, I will put at 2 normally. And then this, I, my stitch length is probably 1.6. And that's millimeters. Um, so, great. Sometimes if I'm worried, like, oh, if I sewed it, like, I'm worried I might have sewed it wrong, I will check it before I do any trimming. Um, these are sort of a Dickens to unsew because the paper wants to rip, etc. So, flat, roll it open. Now we have this funky piece. So this is this whole little paper piece done. And then um, I do more and more and more of them. So one of the paper pieces I have is real easy. It's just one. that. Um, here's another one. 
So I, this probably connects somehow. Yeah, I bet it goes like this. Somehow. Anyway, so once I get all these sewn, then I sew them together. And oh no, you saw you saw the sneak peek of what it was. You weren't supposed to see that. Well, don't tell, okay? That'll just be our little secret. So I hope you enjoyed this this sojourn. Here, let's hold you. Hope you enjoyed this sojourn in my sewing room. Um, looks like my friend is done streaming and we've raided someone. So I'm going to turn things off. Have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you right now. Uh, I got to get back. You know, like this thing isn't going to sew itself.